Hey everyone, it's Jessica Edwards in Wilmington, North Carolina. I sometimes have sellers that have properties that have tenants in place. So it's maybe a rental property or maybe they've moved on and decided to rent for a while um, instead of selling and now they're selling the property. Um, something to keep in mind if you're a seller or you're an owner of a property that has tenants in place and you're selling. When you have tenants in place, it makes it way, way harder to show and sell. It's important to keep in mind that when there's a tenant in that property, that tenant does not have the same sort of vested interest as you do in selling the property. So a lot of times if you are somebody that's an investor or somebody that has a property that you're trying to sell with a renter in place, even though financially it may be harder, you are so much better off in putting it on the market and giving yourself just a couple months without that tenant in place to show and sell the property. The property will show a hundred times better, will get the buyers in when they need to get in. You know, tenants don't care if somebody wants to come you know, at 10 a.m. and they don't want them to. You know, they'll say no. Um, they don't care if there's dirty dishes in the sink, if the bed's unmade. Even if they're neat and tidy and the, the, the property is in good condition and whatever, they don't care about little things sitting here and there or clutter or whatever as you would as a homeowner. And in today's market, with as many things as there are for people to look at, it's really important that when they're coming in to view, buyers are coming in to view the property, you don't have dirty dishes in the sink and the bed isn't unmade and that kind of thing. So it's just something to keep in mind if you're thinking about selling a property that has tenants in place, it will be harder to sell that property and it will be harder to get that um, maximum value or dollar amount out of it if the tenants are in place. Of course, you know, this may not be the case for everyone. You may have a tenant that's just really, you know, willing to help you or whatever. Something to think about is to maybe give the, the tenant an incentive, you know, if the property goes under contract or whatever, give them a bonus, you know, to help you show it and sell it. Work something out with them so there's an incentive for them to make the bed or put the dirty dishes away or keep it clean and allow those buyers to get in. So just something to think about. These are my thoughts. If you have any questions or comments or you disagree, please feel free to email me at jessicaedwards at seacoastrealty.com. And, of course, you can always check us out at thecarolinasfinest.com. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful day.